right, good morning, Grace Church. If you're a guest here today, my name is Wes. I'm one of the pastors, along with Pastor George Arlene and Pastor Taylor, who's our youth pastor. And today we are celebrating that some of our young people are making their first time profession of faith. They're saying yes to the blood of Jesus. And this is Alec, and he is getting ready. He's getting ready to do that. So Alec, let me ask you these important questions, all right? Do you hear in the presence of God in this congregation... Renew the solemn promise and vow that you made or that was made in your name at your baptism. If so, say real loud, I do. I do. All right. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and pledge your allegiance to his kingdom? If so, say I do. I do. And do you receive and profess the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments? If so, say I do. I do. And do you promise according to the grace given to you to live a Christian life and always remain a faithful member of Christ's Holy Church. If so, say again, I do. I do. All right. So as part of confirmation, Alec wrote a creed about what it is that he believes. So I'm going to read this for you. It said, God the Father created everyone and everything. He created everyone and everything I love the most. Jesus saved me from my sins. He died so that I could live. He didn't die for all the good things we do and all the perfect people, but he died for all of our imperfections. The Holy Spirit guides me day by day. It helps me decide right from wrong. It is like we are a train and the Holy Spirit is our track. Without a track, the train would crash. Our church is more than just a place we go to worship God. Our church unifies us so we can go out and spread the word. I believe that Jesus died on the cross, overcame death, and is still working in my life every day. So, Alec, the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. Alexander, I thank God each day for bringing you into our lives. You have been such a blessing, and I am so proud of the young man that you have become. I pray that you know how long, how wide, how deep that yes. Christ's love is for you. Yes, Jesus. May the Holy Spirit help you grow in faith, hope, and love so that you may know the peace, truth, and goodness that comes from Christ alone. May God strengthen your gifts of mercy and use you to love and to serve as a disciple of Christ. Today, we're also going to not only hear your profession of faith, but we want to welcome you into this new family. Look out here. These are your, this is your new spiritual home, okay? And uh, as you can tell, they're quite proud of you today. And so let me ask you these important, these important promises about uh, belonging to Grace Church. Will you be loyal to Grace Church and uphold it by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? If so, say, I will. And will you partner with us as we partner with God in transforming the unbelievers from fully devoted disciples of Jesus to the glory of God? If so, say, I will. I will. Well, friends, I commend to your care and your love, Alec, today, whom this day we receive into the partnership of Grace Church. Do all in your power to increase his faith, confirm his hope, and perfect him in love. And our response together is on the screen. Will you join me with this? We rejoice to recognize you as a member of Christ's Holy Church and bid you welcome to Grace Church. With you, we renew our vows to uphold it by our prayers, presence, gifts, service, and witness. One more time, friends, would you welcome Alec into the membership and partnership of Grace Church? Congratulations. All right. Well, this is a good day to be in worship, isn't it? All right, good morning, Grace Church. Good to see you here today. My name is Wes. I'm one of the pastors here, along with Pastor Arlene, Pastor George, Pastor Taylor, and Pastor Taylor. In case you're wondering what name to call uh, any of our youth pastors, just say Taylor, and you're good. And where's Marissa? Oh, hey, Marissa. And this is Marissa. Sorry, I didn't see her over there. And so uh, we're so glad that you're here because today Elizabeth and Lauren are going to be saying their first public profession of faith in Jesus Christ. Can we give them a hand and encourage them together as they are here before us? So Elizabeth and Lauren, let me, let me ask you these important questions. Do you hear in the presence of God and of this congregation, 
renew the solemn promise and vow that you made or that was made in your name at your baptism? If so, say, I do. I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and pledge your allegiance to his kingdom? If so, say, I do. Do you receive and profess the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments? If so, say, I do. I do. All right. And do you promise, according to the grace given you, to live a Christian life and always remain a faithful member of Christ's holy church? If so, one more time, say, I do. I do. All right. Wonderful. And I think, Elizabeth, you're going to go first, right? So if you'll stand right over here and Lauren, wait for us in just a minute. We'll be with you. So as part of confirmation, Elizabeth and Lauren both wrote creeds, basically statements of belief about their faith. And I want to read Elizabeth's to you now. It says, God the Father made me into the person I am today. Jesus helps me by forgiving me from my sins. The Holy Spirit helps me help others while the church helps me bring my faith and my gifts together to make fully devoted disciples of Jesus. God helps me in ways I don't even realize. God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit all work together to make me the best person I can be. And the church helps us all work together. Elizabeth, the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. And the people of God said, Amen. Our Elizabeth, the youngest of our children, one of the youngest grandchildren, and as a baby was clearly the smallest in size. You have often been underestimated, overlooked, and at times dismissed by your older siblings and cousins. Unfortunately, that sometimes happens to the baby of a family. You have arisen above all these circumstances and you have shown us true strength, bravery, and grace. We have learned so much from you. As your team's goalie, we've watched you stand alone in the soccer net while trying to block goals. We've seen you stand alone on your middle school stage and sing to a room full of students and parents. Before each of those moments, you were scared, but you found great courage. We have watched you overcome obstacles in school that at times felt insurmountable. I have also seen you comfort friends in times of sadness and stress. You have shown patience and kindness in helping the small children at Grace Place and Bible Summer Camp. I don't say these things today to suggest that somehow you deserve great credit for these moments. I can assure you that each person in this church can tell you of moments of highs and lows in their lives. Instead, I present them to you as evidence that the Holy Spirit is alive in you. It is but with his help we can overcome fears and obstacles and find forgiveness and kindness for others. I can assure you in none of those moments you were ever alone. These seem like small problems to master in the grand scheme of life, but I tell you they are the training ground for the adult challenges that you, just like everyone else, will sure to come come across. Like all living things, the more you nurture and care for your relationship with God, the more he will present himself to you. This moment today is not a cross-the-finish-line celebration. Today is a waypoint refueling station celebration. We are here to congratulate you on your choice to continue on with the journey of becoming an adult in the church. We pray that you never lose faith. The same Lord that celebrates the happy moments on the mountaintops with you will also console you when you find yourself in the valleys of life. The Holy Spirit is with you always, just waiting for you to call on him. Already, we are proud of the choices that you have made. We pray that you look back on this day always as an important day in your life and know just how much you are loved. Let's thank God this morning for Elizabeth. Go ahead and stand. So let me read Lauren's creed to you. God created me. He loved me so much that he gave us Jesus, his one and only son. Jesus saves us from our sins. The Holy Spirit gives us our spiritual gifts. The church helps me better understand who God is and that God saved me in each and every one of us. Lauren, the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Mom? From the time I held you in my arms, I prayed God would bless and keep you Lord, I thank you for giving us this precious gift. He knew you first and chose us to raise you. From your baptism in front of the Grace community, we instilled the belief it takes a village to raise a child. 
-hmm. You have grown in faith and love for the Lord, making Jesus your forever friend. As a young adult, this confirmation is your commitment to follow Jesus throughout your years. May the Lord bless you with the spiritual gifts to follow the road less traveled. Spend time with him daily. Listen to his voice. Mm. Know he loves you and has great plans for you. Yeah. Lord bless this daughter with the Holy Spirit to make a home in her heart. And Lauren, always know you're a child of God and a person of worth throughout your journey. We love you, Lauren. Amen. Amen. Let's thank God for Lauren this morning. All right, Lauren and Elizabeth are now going to take their vows to become partners here at Grace Church because as you say yes to Jesus, he also gives us a family to walk with us and to encourage and for you to bring your gifts and use for the good of all of us as well as the world. So let me ask you these important questions. Will you be loyal to Grace Church and uphold it by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service and witness? If so, answer, I will. And will you partner with us as we partner with God in transforming people from unbelievers to fully devoted disciples of Jesus to the glory of God? If so, say, I will. All right. Friends, I commend to your love and care, Elizabeth and Lauren, whom this day we receive into partnership here at Grace Church. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. And our response together to them is on the screen. So will you join me? We rejoice to recognize you as partners of Holy Church and bid you welcome to Grace Church. With you, we renew our vows to uphold it by our prayers, presence, gifts, service, and witness. All right. And one more time, let's thank God together for Elizabeth and Lauren. Congratulations. We're going to continue to worship together and to celebrate God's goodness and grace together.